is greater than C plus the sum of... As he quickly works through a proof of probability law, Percy Diaconis is center stage. Is that okay with everybody? What I did here to get this inequality is I said, forget about the P's, this event... But it was a different kind of stage that first fired his imagination. As a boy, he was more interested in magic than in school. At 14, he ran away from home and hit the magic circuit under the stage name Percy Warren. After 10 years on the road, Diaconis returned to school to learn more about probability and randomness, subjects he'd become fascinated with as a magician. He is still in school, now as a professor of mathematics at Harvard, and one of the most original thinkers in the field of probability. I've spent years analyzing the basic images of randomness that we have. Uh, coin tossing, shuffling cards, flipping tacks, rolling roulette balls, and two things have emerged. First of all, it's possible to make things random. If you flip a coin quite vigorously, it, it's as close to being a fair event 50-50 as I know if you flip it and catch it on your hand. Um, if you shuffle a deck of cards many times, ten times, uh, they'll get all mixed up. So one thing is the usual ways we, we try to randomize usually work pretty well if you do them vigorously. However, we usually don't do them vigorously. In short, Diaconis tells us we need to revise our notions of randomness. To start someplace, consider flipping a coin. Um, that for many people is just a very, very fundamental image of, of, of a random phenomena. And yet, if you think about it the least little bit, um, you'll realize it's, it's not random at all. Uh, in fact, um, there are people around carnivals, and I, on occasion, have been able to flip a coin and keep control over it. Let's see if I can still do that. Um, I don't know. Here's a, here's a coin. It's, a, it's an ordinary half dollar. It's got a head on one side and a tail on the other. And if I, if I do flip it like that, it should be that it's heads. It, it's, it's, it's actually rather complex what I'm doing. There's heads. With skill honed by long practice, Diaconis can make a coin come up heads on every flip. <laughs> it is surprising when you first see it. I know that I can toss it and make it come out however I want, but you don't know that. And for you, you think all sequences are equally likely. It's kind of clear that what probabilities are assigned to a coin toss has something to do with how much what you know about the person tossing it and the coin being tossed and things like that. And um, that kind of thought has led a group of us to say that probability isn't a fact about the world. Probability is a fact about an observer's knowledge. Let me write this as This a, idea is integral. typical of the kind of creative insight Diaconis has brought to the field of probability a field that continues to challenge and delight him. I love when somebody comes to me with real data that has all of its full uncertainty in it, because I know that I will be able to, by taking appropriate averages, find the structure that's hidden in that data. Um, so for me, having some ability gives me, gives me real joy in facing uncertainty.